Hi everyone, Heather here. Thanks so much for stopping by the Keto Cancer Solution website or Facebook group. First of all, if it's your first time to the website and or, and or watching this video, I would encourage you to hop over to facebook.com uh, backslash groups backslash Keto Cancer Solution and join my group there because there I post content almost on a regular daily basis about a ketogenic diet and other lifestyle factors to consider and incorporate into your lifestyle to help support your cancer journey. During this video I want to talk a little bit about uh, what you're going to find here on the website throughout the group and um, how you can get started, how you can start to improve your ketogenic diet but not only that there's so much more to it which I'll discuss here uh, today but how you can add other elements into your life to help support your cancer healing and or prevention journey. So to start with if you're just joining for the first time know that this isn't your typical standard ketogenic diet website or group. Um, there's not going to be a lot of posting or sharing of ketogenic friendly recipes while I support those and I think they're really awesome. Um, there's a lot more to healing cancer than simply focusing on recipes and I want to help you go deeper with your cancer healing and or prevention journey and in order to do that we have to cover several bases one yes is a ketogenic diet learning how to optimize that learning how to organize that into your life learning which foods to actually focus on a lot of people take a very systemic limited vi vision and view of the ketogenic diet just focusing on fats carbohydrates and proteins and counting these macros and staying in nutritional ketosis and while this can be helpful for a period of time it is often not what I tend to focus on because there's a lot of limiting factors there I want to look at nutrients I want to look at nutrients in specific foods and I want to look at how those nutrients are actually improving influencing impacting your mitochondria because we know that cancer is a disease of dysfunctional mitochondria and until you actually address and work to improve your mitochondria you're only going to be able to get so far in your cancer healing and or prevention journey and uh, this is where 99.9% .9 of uh, ketogenic food gurus, uh, practitioners, healthcare practitioners, uh, whether it's Western or alternative, uh, these people who really encourage a ketogenic diet, they're super well intentioned. However, they tend to just focus on the diet and on supplements. Really, if we want to heal the mitochondria, we have to expand our vision to include elements into your life to actually support the healing of your mitochondria. A ketogenic diet is not an optimal way to heal your mitochondria. It will take stress off of your mitochondria as you're changing your lifestyle, as you're helping to heal your mitochondria, but it in itself is not a main way to actually help to heal, to improve the state of your mitochondrial health. And for those of you just joining the Facebook group or just hopping by the page here today, uh, typically on a monthly basis, I offer a Keto for Cancer workshop. And this is something that I highly recommend any of you who are just getting started with keto or who have been in keto and you're not getting the success you're seeking, or if you simply want to become more informed around not only keto, but we're going to address ways to actually improve your mitochondria that a ketogenic diet does not offer. So um, the place I would encourage all of you to start is to first start by taking a workshop. If you're ready to take a deep dive, you can um, check out my courses and go to the uh, Optimize Your Life course, uh, excuse me, Optimize Your Health course. And this course is actually designed to teach you in great detail uh, a lot of depth about how to improve your mitochondria on several levels. So um, if you're someone just starting off on your journey though, it may be best to start with a workshop just to get your feet wet and to really be able to approach a ketogenic 
lifestyle that includes not only a ketogenic diet, but also other elements that help to improve your mitochondria health that are outside of diet and that are actually free to you. We just don't know about these things. We have to learn how to use them, implement them into our life. We have to learn how to um, improve our environment so it supports our mitochondrial health because the environment that we live in tends to be one of the main causes of mitochondrial dysfunction and therefore leads to diseases like cancer. So for those of you just joining, I would encourage you to uh, join a workshop or uh, join the course to optimize your health. And uh, just so you all know, just, just to be super clear that this place is not a place we're going to solely focus on diet. You'll read through the blog on the Keto Cancer Solution website, all these different um, influencing factors and all these different uh, impacts that your environment has on your mitochondria. And we'll go into great detail in the course in the workshop also about these things. And when you're exploring a ketogenic diet, know there's a lot of components to it and that a lot of the information out there is actually conflicting and it's not targeted to meet your specific needs. During the workshop and courses, we're going to actually get into your specific needs and how you can tailor your diet uh, to actually support your mitochondrial health and healing. So thanks again for stopping by and feel free to join the Keto Cancer Solution Facebook group, sign up for a workshop or the, or the Optimize Your Health course, and I'll really look forward to helping you improve your mitochondria, to helping you to really uh, tweak and improve your diet to help support your personal healing needs and to help you prevent and possibly even rectify cancer.